Hey everyone, welcome back to San Diego Market Movers. I'm your host, Valley, and I'm here with Anna Marie. Thank you for having me. Of course, yes, thanks for being here. So, you know, buyers are kind of like, they were used to the market going crazy and they couldn't ever get an offer accepted and then quickly retransitioned in 2022 where they couldn't, um, they have control. January's here, what's happening? Well, it's funny, they think they have control, but really what's happening is that they're, they're slow to move right now. They think that they have plenty of time and mm -hmm. um, they're, they're confused and mm -hmm. they don't know what to do. They don't know if they should wait. They don't know if they should buy. So somebody needs to sit them down and just explain to them that you can buy a home in any market, low market, high market, it doesn't really matter. You have control, it just matters whether or not you're going to have control over when you sell it. Mm, that's that's where you're where you make your money. I mean, I know a lot of people that have bought on a high market and they held it for 10 years, 15 years, the market turned again and they, they it jumped way back up and they made money. Right, so, I heard a saying like the other day, somebody was like, "Just wait." you for don't it. lose money in real estate no. and you don't make money in real estate until you sell it. Exactly. So it's exactly. not, it's yeah. kind of like a stock in a yeah. way. Yeah, exactly. So you've been in the business for a long time. You've oh, seen yeah. a bunch of different cycles. Yeah, four. What are we, what kind of cycle are we in now? What do you think we have coming? Well, it's interesting because back in the end or the beginning of last year, I told everybody I thought it was the top of the market, the height yeah. of the market, time to sell. If you're going to sell, sell it. Mm -hmm. And we were still getting multiple offers. And then sure enough, by May, mm -hmm. it just went cold. Yeah. And the interest rates, of course, was the like double <laughs> was the reason for the the hold off of mm -hmm. from everybody covid had a little bit to do but during covid those two years we made a lot of money in real mm -hmm. estate and we did a lot of sales in real estate and people were moving it was mm -hmm. crazy that you would think a pandemic would slow people down and stop people but it yeah. was probably a really motivator. really good market and mm -hmm. a motivator and it also made people realize how important home was mm -hmm. so that changed a lot of things and then in may the market dropped off Mm -hmm. and it got cold and then we got into the you know the holiday season and everybody just backed off and wanted to see where's this going what's mm -hmm. going to happen should i wait is it going to go down more mm -hmm. and really if you want to buy a home or you or you need a place to live i look at it from that perspective too is that you can buy in any market mm -hmm. and i truly believe that interest rates have a lot to do with it but it's a little bit of an unpredictable market because we really don't know what's going to happen in the next few months i personally if i had a crystal ball my anna marie crystal ball mm -hmm. i would say i think interest rates will come down yeah. within the next six months things are going to shift what about I, inventory do you think inventory, uh, inventory is already starting to pick up okay i think that um sellers are going to try yeah they they're so. not going to be as crazy high the realistic sellers will come out the ones that are not realistic that just think that their property is worth way more than it's worth they might rent it or they may sit on it or they may wait mm -hmm. it out and hope that it goes back up but i think they all know that it's not going to go back up anytime soon yeah but i believe it's going to be a bit of a stable market i think 2023 is going to be a really good market but it's going to be a market for real buyers and real sellers i like that yeah i was thinking that same thing so and so if you're waiting for the crash uh you're going to wait till you die because yeah it's probably can, not going to crash you can like, wait a long time and then everybody else is waiting too so then you're going to really have to compete yeah you're going to be back in this on yeah. the cycle why bother yeah i love it well thank you so much for your You're perspective welcome. i'm excited and you got me excited for 2023 and yeah. hopeful that this is going to be a good year so thank you it so will. much <laughs> thank you thanks for having me thanks for watching mm -hmm.